I'm still a baby. Paul put me in the machine last night and gave me another treatment, but nothing seems to have changed. I blacked out and when I woke up I was back in my crib. I feel horribly thirsty, so thirsty in fact, that I'd happily drink formula from the bottle if my wife brought me one. I try to call her name but nothing comes out but foolish baby noises. What's happened to me? At least yesterday I could talk. I stand at the side of my crib and scream for her to come. The door opens and there stands my wife and Paul together in the doorway. Paul's arms are full of what looks like a stereo system. I see that my wife has a baby bottle in hand as she walks up to the crib. I grab the bottle from her hands and put the nipple in my mouth eagerly. I begin to desperately suck the precious fluid from the bottle as I watch Paul set up the stereo on top of the dresser and turn it on. The sound of flute music gently fills the room as he walks over to my crib. Paul stands at the side of the crib and shakes his head with a knowing smile then he begins to explain what's going on. He's turned me into a 11-month-old baby. He had no intention of reinstating me to my former size and age, he decided to regress me until I'm too young to talk. He told me that he moved into our house last night and he's going to be my daddy. He says that by tomorrow I'll be a baby again in both body and mind. The stereo system has an endless tape cartridge with subliminal hypnotic messages buried in the flute music. He's put a hypnotic drug in my formula to speed up the process and by tomorrow I'll have forgotten that I had ever been a man. Tears begin to course down my face as he explains that he's never going to let me grow up. I'm going to be a baby forever. Suddenly I feel a strange urge from my behind. I'm pooping in my diaper. The sound of a big wet fart escapes my bottom and the two lovers turn to each other smile and kiss in triumph. I feel the front of my diaper growing warm and wet as my bladder cuts loose and I begin to pee. I sink to my knees in defeat as they close the door behind them and leave me alone in my nursery. Mommy and Daddy came into my nursery this morning to wake me. I giggled when Mommy changed my dirty diddy and Daddy laughed too. He kissed Mommy on the neck and told her how much he loved her. Mommy told him she loved him too and I began to school. Mommy finished diapering me and picked me up to hug and tell me she loved her baby boy too. I cooed happily back at her and then Mommy and Daddy took me into the kitchen to feed me breakfast. Mommy fed me oatmeal with applesauce and I made a mess all over my face and high chair. Daddy wiped my face with a wet washcloth and told me what a good baby I was. I chortled and put my thumb in my mouth to suck it. Mommy gave me my BABA and I nursed my formula while Mommy and Daddy had breakfast. When they were finished they took me into the family room and put me in my playpen. Mommy and Daddy sat on the sofa and kissed for a long, long time. Mommy told Daddy she loved him and he said he loved Mommy. Daddy got off Mommy and they sat up on the sofa. Mommy came over and took me out of my playpen and sat on the sofa with me on her lap. She told me what a good baby I had been and that she loved me very much. Mommy told me I was going to be her adorable baby boy forever. I chuckled happily and Daddy smiled at me and tousled my hair. Daddy told me that he'd use his machine thing to keep us all the same age forever. He'd always be there to take care of Mommy and Mommy would always be there to take care of me. I love my Mommy and Daddy.